When creating a paper in MLA style, there are some very specific formatting rules you must follow. Unfortunately, the default settings in newer versions of Microsoft Word are not always the same. With this tutorial video, you will learn how to set the proper formatting for your MLA paper and also create a template to use for future papers. With this sample paper, you can see the settings that Microsoft Word did to your paper. Unfortunately, this is not how it should look for MLA style. Before we get to this paper and reformatting it, let's go ahead and look at how to set a new paper with the correct settings before you type even one word. What we'll do first is we'll change the margins. Go to Page Layout, choose Margins, and choose the normal setting. Your normal setting should be at one inch on the top left, bottom, and right. If that's not true, then you can go to Custom Margins and make sure again that the top left, bottom, and right are one inch. The next thing we need to do is work with the spacing. As you can see in this paper, we don't have double spacing for our text, and Microsoft Word adds a new space after every paragraph. This is not acceptable for MLA format. So we'll go back into our fresh paper, go to the Home tab, and first we'll change it to double spacing, so choose 2.0 in the spacing tab, and go back to that tab and choose remove space after paragraph. It doesn't look like much is happening, but all that spacing is going to be fixed and you'll no longer have it looking like this. As with this sample paper, you can also see that we have a font called Calibri, and it's 11 point. For an MLA style format, you need to make sure it is Times New Roman and 12 point. And from here, we need to go ahead and set the header. Now be careful, the header and the heading are two different things. The header should have your last name and the page number in the top right corner of every page. So if we scroll down to the second page, we can see the last name and the second page page number. The heading is simply where you list your name the class, the date, etc. So for the header, we're going to go to the Insert tab, go to Header, and we can choose the blank basic type. Now the problem is, is that your type is on the left hand side. So I can come in here and go ahead and type my last name, but we actually need it to be on the right hand side of the page. So I'll move my cursor in front of my last name hit tab twice and move it to the right of the screen. Move your cursor to the right hand side of your name and this is where we're going to add the page number. Now be careful, you don't want to come in here and just type the page number because it will repeat itself on every page. So if I close this header and footer and scroll down, all of a sudden you see the header in the top right and it has my last name which is correct but this isn't page one, it's page two. So Microsoft Word has a way of fixing this and doing it for you. If you want to get into the header, you don't always have to go to insert and choose header. You can double click and then it gets you into it. So I can come over here and delete that number and instead what I'm going to do is in the header and footer tools tab, we'll go to the page number drop down menu, choose current position and just do a plain number. Be careful. Don't come up here and do top of page and then choose the right hand side because it will erase your last name that you've already completed. Now if I click close header and footer, if I'm back on the second page, you can see that I have my last name but now this is page 2 and this is page 1. So now that we've created a correctly formatted MLA paper, we don't want to have to do that every single time we write a paper. So what you can do is you can create a template that will be available to you on your Microsoft Word program for every paper that you write. To do this, we'll go up to the File menu, choose Save As, and give it a unique name of MLA Formatted Paper. And the important step is to actually change the type of file to a Microsoft Word template. Now the trick with this is that Microsoft Word actually tries to save this in your documents folder and we need to save this in the templates folder. So you should see in the left hand pane Microsoft Word and then a templates folder. 
So I'll click on Templates and choose Save. And it doesn't, again, look like anything happened. But let's go ahead and close this document and I'll create a new one. And the cool thing is you can click on My Templates and all of a sudden you have this template called MLA Formatted Paper. You can click it and choose OK and it's going to open up a new blank document that is in the correct MLA formatting and already has your header. Then it's just a matter of typing your paper and choosing Save As and giving it a unique name. Let's say this was my persuasive paper and I'm going to go ahead and save it to wherever it needs to go. There's my English class folder and hit Save. So what do we do when we have a paper that we've already created that doesn't have the MLA formatting in it? You can go backwards. We can highlight this entire paper by clicking and scrolling the entire way or a good keyboard shortcut is to hit Control A. That will highlight everything on your paper. So let's go through these one at a time. We'll go to Page Layout, choose Margins, and choose Normal for one inch on the top left, bottom, and right. We'll change the spacing to 2.0 and remove the space after paragraphs. We'll change the font to Times New Roman, 12 point, and then for the header, we just need to make sure that on every page, the number is correct, and right now it is. If it's not correct, again, you can double click inside of the header and change it here, and then get out of it. So that's the basics of creating an MLA formatted paper. Make sure you do these, because it is a requirement of the MLA style.